what I'm going to do is I've selected the top view here and we go back in here get hexagon open again okay now what's happening here dock my material palette over here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a grid here in the top view let's just go and switch on to the top view Oops. select top view and switch on to it and I'm just going to create a grid here just so big and double clicking finishes it okay over here in pull the material tab out here over here in the position coordinates I'm going to just zero it out so there it is now we've got our we've got our blueprints created let me talk to you about the materials tab okay sometimes your materials tab will all be scrunched up and so you can't see anything you hit new and you just see this right here well you just need to pull that down right there at the corner as you're seeing here you're starting with material 23 whatever that means just type in top and hit enter and it changes over here there's an arrow with drop down stuff you can duplicate the material do all these things never hit set material there's a glitch in no should get out hit remove material there it goes so new material once again top okay we're ready to go I just want to show you show you how this could work here but to warn you against don't ever do that okay so I'm going to go to the texture image of the top hmm what happened doesn't look too good well just go up here to UV and paint and hit planar projection and there you go okay now we're going to go back to my window here I'm going to bring this in and take a look all right uh, let me pan over here back and bring it in okay all right hmm now of course I just I'll tell you right now the reason I'm doing this is primarily because over here if you look in the properties dialog box basically this coordinate system is not in pixels as is the drawing so there's no way for me to look at the size of this and coordinate it with the size of the pixelated JPEG image so what I'm going to do simply is just look at it and cross-reference it okay now it looks as if this needs to be scrunched up a little bit and so I'm going to go back here to this and I'm going to hit the scale let's see alright now go back and grab this JPEG and take a look at it okay hmm Pretty close. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go back. As you can see, we are in our top perspective view here. Now what I want to do here, select this, and you have to be back in manipulator mode to select this. I'm going to rotate it and I can either manually rotate and just slide it in or I can hit whoops I didn't want to do that undo and it's on the Y okay whoops hmm Okay, 
at night, and it did it. Okay, as I said, I'm not really familiar with this coordinate system as I am some of the others. So, it is what it is. Okay, now, we've got this where we want it right here. If we try to drag this way and bring our blueprint in, we'll get some unwanted results. So we start, just drag it this way and rotate it. Now, what we're going to do let's see, is we're going to copy this and hit copy and paste. Okay. So now we have a new one. Now, uh, we're looking at, this is the front, this is let's see, the new front view. Oh, excuse me, yes, that's right. So, we're going to go to Manipulator, Rotate, and there we go. Alright, now we have a side view. This is actually the side view, this is the front view, get mixed up. Okay. So, the, uh, no, actually, this is the front view, sorry. This is the side view. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go back into our materials tab, and we're going to create a new material. And we can see it goes gray. Let's type in our new material, and let's call it side. And we're going to get the texture image out. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of on the wrong, wrong way, so I'll just flip it up right. There we go. Now, let's go to this window and maximize it. And a little bit. This does definitely need adjustment. So we're going to hit the scale manipulator and just scrunch it down a little bit. Now we're going to bring it up to the level and back to this. pretty close. Okay. Well, we're finished. With this, okay, now, let's see. Rotate it around. We have a top view and a front view that's resting nicely on top of it. Now, we have to do the rear view, or excuse me, the front view. And the front view, of course, will be right here. Kind of messes me up. Orthographic view. This is the perspective view, top, front, and side. So, uh, let's see. Now we're going to, uh, hmm, okay. The easiest way to do this is to go back to manipulator mode, and we're going to select the bottom plane here. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to copy, and now, what we want to do is rotate, and we'll rotate it up, it's 90 degrees that way, okay, make sure what we're dealing with here, 90.165, there we go. Okay, now it's rotating fine. Okay, now what we want to do before we do anything else, we're not really sure how Hex is going to put this 
in there with the material so it's better to be safe than sorry let's create a new material and see what it does new material and we're going to call this front and you guessed it the front image okay all right now very telling okay so we see we've got our front image in there but it's all on their own no problem so what we're going to do is let's see select this and we're going to zoom out now whoops back here and I'm just going to rotate this upright if, what did that do? Okay, ah, that's right. Okay. Hold on. Validate. Yep, hold on, I'm gonna have to go back. Something's not right. Ooh, wrong one. Okay, let's undo a little bit here. Undo. Okay, now we're back where we need to be. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I had selected the wrong one, so we're going to select this one. And now we're going to go in and rotate it. Okay, I was wondering why nothing was moving. Okay, and I can see right there we go. Okay. Now, we need to adjust, adjust this. So... We're going to get into our properties dialog box here. And we're going to take a look. This one, these are the dimensions. Now, the height has to be the height of this. So the size is going to be 10.757 on the y axis, which might be. Okay. 10.757. Because there we go. And let's see what the width is going to be. The width is going to be 17.443. Okay. 17.443. And that puts us exactly where we need to be. All right. Now, I'm going to grab this. there a little bit and we're just going to bring this one up where it needs to be. Okay. Okay, basically let's go back to our views. Now we can move this back right there. And this one here we'll move it over the for far extent here. At this point, let's see, you are pretty much ready. Well, we are pretty much ready to start our modeling process. This is what you want. And on this, um, in this tutorial, we're going to be using polygon reduction modeling. It's a little bit different than what I did in. Uh, the Pantera tutorial, Blender tutorial. Uh, we're going to be creating a big box, subdividing it, and shrinking it instead of creating a, a single part and extruding off it. It's a little different method, but it has some advantages, and I'll bring those out as we go along. Uh, time to start modeling, so if you've gotten this far, congratulations. We're all set and we're ready to go, and our blueprints are lined up. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, bye-bye.